Hello and welcome back to another beer review. I'm Ben the Beer Lad and today I'm going to be doing a Vault City beer. This one is Double Cinnamon Cherry Caramel Biscuit and is an 8% Modern Sour Beer and there it is. This one came from Priestown. I can't really remember how much I bought it for because it was, it's been in my fridge for a little bit so I don't really remember how long it's been. Um, and yeah, it's, yeah, one of them. Um, 8% Full City. Yeah, I've not had this one before. Um, it's one of their newer beers. Mainly only know that because it's in a can and Vault City have recently transitioned to cans. Um, don't know why. They've done this shake to wake thing and some of them have been really, really nice. Some of them have been, what the hell is this sort of beer? Um, I'm hoping this is a really, really nice beer. For anyone who doesn't know, Caramel Biscuit, it's a Biscoff beer. Um, Lotus Biscuits. Um, yeah, I've I didn't really know what they were before um, until a couple of years ago, and I've had a couple, and I actually really enjoy them. Um, just on the camera, there we go. Yeah, I actually quite enjoy them. They're really, really nice. Nice balance, sweet caramel, sugary biscuit. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping that's what this is like. Uh, some guff as usual. Let's give it a read. It says, introducing the dessert sour. Some may biscoff at, but not us. The nights are drawing in and we're filling the room with festive aromas. Sweet, spicy cinnamon meets freshly baked biscuits among layers of decadent caramel. All the while, the sweetness pairs perfectly with mountains of juicy cherries and our uh, delicately tart base beer for a sweet, sour flavour fit for the season. It says that there. Um, yeah, Lotus Biscuit. So I'm expecting this to be quite a nice beer because Vault City do really well replicate their um whatever they're doing so i'm expecting that to pretty much be what it says on the tin cannot nice orange autumn colors um we're leaving autumn at the minute going into winter it's the middle of november now so yeah we're kind of in that colder um seasons although it's not really been cold yet but um we're in them colder seasons now hopefully this will warm me up so with all that said, let's hope it doesn't explode. Um, let's crack it open and see what we've got, shall we? Just hold it over the sink, just in case. Yeah, this one isn't too bad. So, that's about as much foam as I got out of it. So, good start. Look at that. That looks gorgeous. So, we have got ourselves a nice deep red. Well, at least I have. The camera makes it look brighter than it is. But it's a nice deep red, ruby red beer with a pink compact head. It looks, besides the head, like a glass of wine. It looks gorgeous. Let's get a smell and see what we get, shall we? Um, oh, yeah, no floaters. Let's get a smell, see what we get. Cherries, big, big hits of cherries. You can smell that it's going to be a sour beer. It smells tart. Cinnamon, I should say, I'm not a big fan of cinnamon. It's not for me. I just don't like it. Um, so I'm hoping this will be a beer that, like uh, Reese's and peanut butter, I'm hoping this will be one that I just go into. My camera's being really, really bad. Um, I'm hoping this is one that I can just go into, go bang, that is gorgeous sort of thing. Um, but I can smell cherries, I can smell cinnamon. It, smell, it does smell like wine, a little bit. <coughs> it's got that um, red wine aroma to it. Like a Shiraz or a, a, a Malbec. It smells really nice. Let's get mouthful for Body and Carb. Oh. Carb is light, it's really, really fine. Body is medium to full bodied. So far, so good. Let's get a big old taste, shall we? Cheers. On the sour scale, I give it about a five. So it's, yeah, sour, it's there. Not really, you know, turning my face inside out, but it's there. Flavour. Oh, that's nice. Cherries. Cherries are 
your main flavor for this. You've got a cinnamon base, like a cinnamon biscuit base, um, like uh, them cinnamon swirls, no, that's what they're called. The little cereal um, squares, cinnamon things, it's like that. Um, so you've got that as your biscuity cinnamon base, it's a nice spice to it. It's not spicy, but it's got that nice warm and feel to it. Pardon me. You've got cherries, that is the first thing you taste, along with the cinnamon. Nice, sour, tart, fruity, pardon me, cherries. Uh, moves in, and like I said, what it looked like and it smelled like, red wine, it smells, and or sorry, it tastes, it's got that mild red wine uh, taste to it. It's a grape flavour, uh, it just tastes like a bit like wine. I always say grape, but it tastes like wine. Um, not strong, not overpowering, it's just this mild... Almost boozy, winey taste, I guess. Um, that moves out, that sort of fades away, all your fruity flavours go away. Sticks with this nice sweetness, and you've got your caramel biscuit at the end. Um, cinnamon and the caramel biscuit, you, yeah, cinnamon and your biscoff sort of become one flavour, and it's basically a cinnamon lotus biscoff right at the end. It's nice, I like it, um, definitely different. Um, not what I was expecting, especially with this wine taste to it. Right. Yeah, I don't know why, but it's different, but a good different. It's nice. Um, it's got all the flavours it says that it was going to have on the tin. Um, yeah, it's a good beer, um, good sour. Overall, um, I'm not really impressed by the sour because it's it's there, but it's like yeah, it's sort of you know laddie da about it. It's not really. There you go. There's a sour. Enjoy sort of thing. It's just yeah, I'm here, but I'll do what I want sort of thing. But overall, good beer. So I think with that, I'm gonna go away and enjoy this. Um, Vault City's double cinnamon cherry caramel biscuit at eight percent out overall. Um, I think if it was <clears throat> like it was more sour, it would be getting a 9 or 10. But at the minute, it's going to get an 8 because it's just not sour enough for me. Um, it's probably a good starter sour beer if you like your craft ale, but sours are like, you know, you're not really sure. This is probably a good starter for you, but I love a sour. I love it turning my face inside out and that really, really sharp, tarty flavour. I just haven't got it with this. It's it's there, but it's like, yeah, it's all right. Um, so, yeah, it's going to get an 8 out of 10, match the percentage. Um, I think the shake and wake for this one is a good one. It's not. It didn't come out like the last one, where it's just thick and smoothie-like. It's come out like a proper beer, but that might have been because I didn't pour it, uh, didn't leave it long enough to rest, but I don't know. Um, so, if you have had this before, please let me know. Let me know what you think, if you like it. If you don't, if you've not had it, I'll leave a link to Vault City's website down below. I think you can get it there, I'm not sure. I also think that it is a vegan beer. It's not a vegan beer. I thought it was. It's not gluten free, but it doesn't say lactose or anything non-vegan. I don't know. Apparently it's not vegan, uh, but I'll leave a link for Vault City's website down below. Um, I think they're selling it on there, I'm not sure. If you like the video though, thumbs up, thumbs down, all that usual stuff. If you want to subscribe, consider doing so, because the show must go on, etc, etc, so on and so forth, and I'll see you later.